So now in this video, I want to do a test out whether I can control this relay module with the output of this integrated circuit here. So this is a 555 timer wired in a stable mode right there. The timing is being set by a 470 microfarad capacitor and two 1000 ohm resistors, uh, one kilo ohm right there. So this five volts is the uh, five volts of the power supply right there. And we're gonna come to the output where the uh, LEDs are connected right there, accidentally connected down to the uh, reset pin, which has five volts. But there you can see the output is only outputting a little less than four volts. And uh, that's when the output's high. The red LED lights up when the output is high. You can see more positive going to uh, more negative. Gotta put it in the right way and everything. I covered that in earlier videos. But in any case, there you can see, we actually get about a four and a half when uh, there's no LED. So. If uh, this works with the LED there, lowering the voltage, it'll work without the LED there because we'll have more voltage. So in any case, this uh, relay module right now is set to trigger when the output is, uh, or when the input, I mean, is high right there. So we're going to uh, power it. And uh, so I'm not 100% sure, actually I am now, but I wasn't when I made this video. If you can drift down this far from five volts and uh, still trigger it. So we will uh, now plug the uh, relay input. So that's V plus where the red jumper in and a V minus where the blue jumper is there uh, marked down there. And then we have our input right there. And you can see when the red light uh, turns on that uh, it's triggered. And uh, so it's switched over here. Uh, this isn't wired to anything. They're just uh, floating. So in any case, there you can see that's enough voltage to trigger it. Now, we're going to zoom in a little bit. I have a rectifier diode right here. So we got anode over there, and then the gray band is up here. I know you can't see it, but uh, that is the uh, cathode. That's going to drop the voltage a little bit, as you can see there, about uh, 0.6 volts. And uh, so that's less voltage to work with. And uh, so maybe this was the edge of uh, where this would trigger it. Maybe if it went just a little bit lower, it won't work. So we have a lower voltage right here. And you can see that uh, even with the uh, lower voltage, it's dropping it a little bit more. So obviously the input must need a, a bit of current. But in any case, there you can see that's still plenty of voltage right there, three volts to uh, trigger this. So in any case, that's the easiest way to see if an integrated circuit can uh, control whatever you want it to control. Just uh, wire up the integrated circuit and have it control what uh, you want to control. Pretty straightforward, but in any case, thought I would make an extra video. So hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen and check out the link down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.